Hi guys, in this tutorial I am going to show you how to install Android 6.0 uh, Marshmallow on VirtualBox. Ok guys, so uh, you will need uh, this you know Android 6.0 Marshmallow ISO file and uh, you also need this VirtualBox. So if you don't have, uh, then I am going to show you how you can get it. Ok. So you need to go to your you know browser and you have to go to this website uh, that is you know this android x86 the link is in the uh, video description you can check it out this is a project at you know sourceforge.net uh, okay so here you have this you know the download uh, link over here as you can see it's you know 460 megabytes so you just need to click on it in order to download this iso okay iso file of android 6.0 marshmallow okay guys uh, and after that you need to go to this website virtualbox.org forward slash wiki uh, forward slash downloads okay so this link is also in in the video description you can check it out and here you can see uh, they have for you know windows hosts for you know OS X hosts Linux and solids okay so I'm on Windows so I already downloaded this uh, you know virtualbox okay guys so let me go to the place where I downloaded it so here I have this Android uh, 6.0 marshmallow this ISO file I have and also I have this virtual box okay so first of all you need to install this you know virtual box so let me just double click on click on it in order to run the setup file and then click on next 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 uh, click on yes and then click on install you guys so as you can see that it's installing so this will take some time okay guys so it's done okay so just click on finish as you can see we have here welcome to virtual box okay guys so after that you need to click on this new and give it you know virtual box give it a uh, the name so I'm using you know this marshmallow you can give it any name okay and in type you have to select this Linux and uh, you have to scroll down in version you have to select this other Linux 32 okay and after that click on next and give it a memory that is RAM so I recommend it at least you know 2 GB 2 gigabytes and then click on next create a virtual hard disk now click on create VDI virtual box disk image uh, click on next uh, you can choose any dynamically allocated or as well as the fixed size I recommend using fixed size and then click on next and here you can you know select the you know, location where you want to save this save this you know marshmallow uh, this you know, image as you can see please type the name of the new virtual hard disk file into the box below or click on the folder icon to select a different folder to create the file okay and after that you need to uh, you know give it this virtual hard disk in megabytes so I recommend at least 8 GB so you can give it you know any if you like suppose I want 16 GB I can just move the slider but I want this you know 8, 8 gigabytes only okay so after that you need to uh, click on this create as you can see it's you know creating as you can see guys a few seconds remaining okay so it's now you know done okay after that you need to go to this you know the settings and then click on it and after that you just need to click on storage and you have to click on this uh, add optical drive and click on this choose disk and you know browse to the place where you have your Android uh, Marshmallow 6.0 ISO okay that we just downloaded just select it and then click on open okay and then click on ok ok guys after that you need to click on this start button over here as you can see uh, 
we have here Oracle VM virtual box okay and after that you need to uh, use a downward arrow key on your keyboard in order to highlight uh, uh, this you know installation install Android x86 to hard disk okay and hit enter on your keyboard you guys and here you need to highlight this create modify partitions so just you know uh, hit enter on your keyboard do you want to use GPT no hit enter on your keyboard and after that you need to go to this new and hit enter on your keyboard in order to create new partition and it it will be primary partition so uh, you just need to hit enter on your keyboard and size in megabytes we already given it and then you need to hit enter on your keyboard and just select this you know flag this bootable then hit enter on your keyboard as you can see we have here boot, boot under flags and after that you need to go to this right and hit enter on your keyboard and type here yes and hit enter on your keyboard as you can see it's now writing partition table to disk so it's now done and you have to go to this quit and hit enter on your keyboard okay guys so after that you need to select this uh, SDA1 and hit enter on your keyboard and you have to format it uh, using you know ext3 and hit enter on your keyboard uh, you choose to format sda1 to ext3 yes hit enter on your keyboard in order to select it as you can see it's formatting partition do you want to install a bootloader grub yes select it and hit enter on your keyboard uh, no so we need to skip this yes as you can see expect to write so it's writing and you can also see it's installing Android x86 see it's syncing data and you have to just hit enter on your keyboard run Android x86 okay so as you can see that we have here you know nice logo of Android so we have to wait a little bit Okay, so we have here I know a nice welcome screen so as you can see that our mouse is not working so you have to go to this input and then click on this mouse integration and just you know click inside the virtual machine as you can see we have here you know our mouse pointer so just click on this you know this this you know button over here and you have to skip this and just click on skip warning no problem skip anyway as you can see it's checking info okay so as you can see we are getting this error unfortunately Google Play services has stopped okay so in order to uh, you know rectify this issue because we want to install our you know marshmallow so you have to you know press right control key on your keyboard in order to return to our original operating system so let me do that and after that you need to click on this devices and then highlight this network and then click on network settings and here you need to you know select this 
they are not attached okay and just uncheck this cable this cable connected and then click on okay and you have to come to your virtual machine and then click on okay over here and again we need to go okay let me go back and skip this and again skip this okay skip anyway okay and you can select the time and then I click on next and you can give it uh, you know the name over here let me type any name and you can give it a last name if you like and then click on next okay so you just need to uncheck this options because we don't want to do that right now and then click on next Leaving full screen to exit, swipe down from the top, no problem. Got it, and then click on next. Welcome, wallpapers, widgets, and settings. Okay, no problem. Click on got it. Okay, guys, so as you can see, that we have here a nice, you know, our Android 6.0 marshmallow on our, uh, you know, in virtual machine, and you can check this by going to the settings over here uh, about you know tablet and here you can see this android 6.0 okay android version 6.0 over here we have okay, guys so you also uh, need to you know save this you know virtual machine okay so you just need to you know go return to our original operating system by pressing control on your keyboard and hit over here this you know close button and you can you know save the machine state okay and power off the machine okay so uh, let me do that in order to show you okay so I'm just selecting this save the machine state and then you have to click on okay as you can see it's saving the execution state of the virtual machine okay and here uh, you have to you know click on start again in order to start your virtual machine as you can see it's you know restoring As you can see over here, a few seconds remaining. Okay, guys, so it's now I know restored. Okay, you can do this mouse integration. Okay, guys, so after uh, you're done using it, you have you can you know just click on this power of this machine and click on OK, and you have to go to the settings of your phone. Sorry, settings again, and you have to go to stories. And you have to remove this attachment okay and then click on ok and if you again start your virtual machine it will boot up to your you know android 6.0 marshmallow directly okay as you can see it's now booting up As you can see that we have here our you know our marshmallow okay guys so uh, also uh, you might expect some you know errors uh, because uh, this you know Android x86 marshmallow project is still in a development phase so you can go to you know uh, online uh, on their forums 
so let me show you android x86 forums so if you run into some problem then you can ask ask there so let me minimize this and you can go to you know google.com and type over here android x86 forums okay so they have you know google group also you can you know join this and if you uh, run into some problem you can ask ask there as you can see many guys are you know having problems so you can just join this group and just click on create new topic okay so guys uh, i will put this you know link also is in the video description so you can go there and join these you know groups okay so guys uh hope this tutorial helps and thanks for watching and i will catch you in my other videos bye bye take care